Okay, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Uh, now we are going to practice the uh, representation of data chapter from the past papers. So you can see that I have here in front of me a paper from June 03, okay? Now it's first question says, uh, the diagram represents the sales of uh, whatever over the last few years. Give a reason why it is misleading. Okay, if we look at this, uh, there is no problem with the horizontal axis, but if you look at the vertical axis, this is not starting from the zero, okay? So this should start from zero. So that is called a false zero error. We call this a false zero, okay? Because um, if you uh, try to find the area under the curve, that will not be equal to the total sales over these uh, uh, four or five years, okay? So this is misleading because of the false zero, the data not, this vertical axis not starting from zero. Okay, next part is uh, we have to draw the uh, stem and leaf diagram to illustrate this data, okay? It says the following data represents uh, the daily ticket sales at, at a small theater during three weeks. So when we have to draw its uh, stem and leaf diagram, so then you have, need to have the stem like this, okay? Uh, this. So we have the things in 50s, 80s, 30s. Do we have any number in 20s? I don't think. So we have the things in 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, and then 70s. Yes, anyone in 90s? Yes, nine. Oh, there are 80s and 90s as well. Eight and then nine. This should be a straight line. You should draw this with the ruler. Okay, so 52, I'll write two here. 73, this is going to be three. 34, I'll write four here. 85, I'll write five here. 62, okay, then we have 79. Remember, there are no commas between these values here, okay? 79, then we have 89, then we have 50, then we have 45, here is five, then we have 83, then it says uh, 84, 84, then we have 91, then we have 85, then we have 84, then we have 44, then we have 86, then we have 41, 35, 73, and 86. Okay. So now I'll be need them making its neater version over here. So I'll rather this was the rough draft okay so now this is my three four five six seven eight and nine and then i have to write them in ascending order this is 45 four five this is one four five this is zero two and then you have just two. Then we have three, three, nine. Okay, then we have three, double four, double five, double six, nine. Three, double four, double five, double six, nine. Let me count these are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then there's this. Sir Sir, there's a seven as well. Uh, 87, man. Uh, where did I miss? Oh, yes, there was 84 and then 87. Thank you, Bada. Thank you. There was seven somewhere here, okay? So I should write this is going to be seven and then this is my nine. Thank you, Bada. We should, in fact, count all these values. Like this is, uh, this is uh, three weeks. So that means these have to be 21 uh, or He's, he's taken just the working days. Let me count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three. Yeah, these are 21. So if I just uh, 
lie down here that I have two values here, two, two observations, I have three observations, I have two entries, one entry, then there are three entries, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, there are nine entries here. Now this would tell us the total, we, we can find the total from here quickly, five plus two, seven plus one is eight, eight plus is 11, yeah, these are going to be 21. And then there has to be the key as well. Okay, uh, you can draw the key anywhere in the um, in the beginning or maybe after that. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to give the key here. So the key is going to be, you must mention this clearly, that this uh, three and then four means 34 tickets. These are tickets, I think, Anna. Uh, yeah, these are the tickets, 34 tickets. So that is how you draw. This is your stem and leaf diagram, okay? Then it says use your diagram to find the median of the data. So for the median, you will be finding n plus one over two. So that is going to be 21 plus one over two. So that is going to be 11th observation is going to be your median. So you have two plus three is five plus two, seven plus one is eight. 8 plus 3 is 11. So this one is your median. That is 79. So the answer to the um, 2B, that is going to be 79. Okay. I, I just want you people to uh, recall that method here where you were finding the interquartile range or the quartiles as well. Can someone tell me what will be the lower quartile of this, uh, this data? Yes. Mm -hmm. You see there are 11, so there are 21 observations. So this is the 11th observation, which is going to be the median, okay? And then you have, these are your first 10 observations. These are your last 10 observations. So you find the median of the first 10 observations. So that would be 10 plus one over two, that is going to be 5.5. So between fifth and sixth, the fifth observation is 45 and the sixth observation is 50. So you can say that the lower quartile is going to be, I'm writing it here, the lower quartile is going to be 55 plus 60 over two. That is going to be 57.5. And then uh, similarly for the last 10 observations, again, you have to see, uh, the 50 uh, between this uh, 16th and 17th because if you go 5.5 after this 11 so that would be here 16.5 okay so 16th observation so 5 plus 2 is 7 plus 1 is 8 plus 11 so this is 12 13 14 15 16 and this is so here is this is where your upper quartile would be. So the upper quartile would be, that is 85 plus 86 over two. So that is going to be 85.5. So this is your upper quartile. So I just, uh, I'm just trying uh, so that you people recall how to find the interquartile range or the lower quartile and the upper quartile when you have uh, a stem and leaf diagram, okay? So let's go to the next question. So this is a question from, uh, let me see. This is from uh, June 02, okay? And you guys have to, we'll be uh, trying a second question because this is related to the topic of the day. It says uh, the, the manager of a company, blah, 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 80 meetings, the results are uh, as follows. So you see, we have to draw a cumulative frequency graph, and then we have to use this to estimate the median and the interquartile range. So you should have the graph paper for this. Uh, these days, you, you are given the graph paper uh, in your paper, but this is an old paper, so you have to arrange this. So you start trying this, and then I'll do that. Okay, in this question from Juno 2, um, we have to draw a cumulative frequency graph. So uh, when you have to draw this cumulative frequency graph, the first thing that you need is you must have that Q 
cumulative frequency distribution okay so let's have that distribution so this is going to be something like this okay so we have the times here okay this is the time and here is the number of meetings so that would be your cumulative frequency so remember we always take the lower class limit okay so less than zero so that is going to be zero less than 15 so you have four against it less than 30 so you have 11 against it less than 60 so you have 11 plus 24 is 35 less than 90 so you have uh, 38 yes no sorry uh, 35 plus 38 is going to be 73 Yes. So this is going to be 73 and less than or equal to, uh, sorry, less than, this is 120. You can keep the equal to marks here because upper class limits have the equal to marks with them. So less than or equal to 120. So we have that is equal to 80. Okay, so this is the data that we have to show through um, cumulative frequency graph. So you should have, uh, so you have to go up to 120. This should go up to 80. Okay. So so I have zero here this uh, one two three four five six seven so i have to go like this 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 Remember, this has to be done on a graph paper. So I can virtually draw a graph here. I can have just to help myself. Okay, I have somehow managed to have a graph, a grid over here. So now we have zero and then we have a zero here. Then against 15, we have um, four. So this should be, this is 15 and this should be somewhere here. This is 15 comma four, 30 comma 11. So this should be here, 30 comma 11. Then we have 60 comma 35. This is your 60 over here. 60 comma 35 so this is your 35 then we have 90 comma 73 here is your 90 comma 73 okay this is 73 should be somewhere here okay then we have 120 comma 80 this is 120 comma 80 it is going to be over here <coughs> now he says draw cumulative frequency graph so I have to join them with the lines here, okay? So this is going to be this, then from this, from this, then from this. So this is your cumulative frequency graph. That is how this would look like. And then he says, um, use this to estimate the median time. So the median time is going to be against half of the total frequency. The total frequency is 80, so I'll be going, um, I will be looking for um, this um, 
against this 40, okay? So here is this 40. So this is, this so it looks like 62 kind of. So this lower quad, I mean the median is going to be 62. Then it says find the interquartile range. So we'll find the lower quartile that will be against quarter of the total frequency. So against 20 here. So this is your lower quartile. That looks to be that looks to be somewhere around like this is 30, yeah, around 37. Okay. So your lower quartile is 37. Okay, if, if someone has drawn this on a graph paper, she can have a better estimate for this. The upper, upper quartile, that is three quarter of 80. So that is going to be against 60, yes, against 60. So here it is that against 60. So we have something like 77. So I have the Q3, which is going to be 77. So the interquartile range is going to be 77 minus 37, so that is going to be 40. That is the interquartile range. So th this was a question of six marks. You have just seen this. Okay. Do you have any questions?